It's actually looking for satellites now and it's just gonna synchronize itself with everything. Then we'll just do a small calibration and we're good to go. Go. I'm going to attach the bait. There's different ways of doing it. But I just prefer straight onto the sinker because there's no wind blowing. If there was a bit of wind, then I'd put a dropper loop. Okay. Make sure your leader is on one side. Everything's out. So usually I've got someone helping me, but today I'm all alone. Um, so I put the rod in the rod stand, loosen the drag. Then I had enough of slack, and um, yeah, and I want to slowly take it out. So I'm using my tournament, the new tournament, the 15 foot heavy, and uh, yeah, an assault to state thousand, and I've got 40 pound J braid on that one. I've loosened the drag. I'm flying slowly out, I'm not flying too fast. Okay, I'm going to drop it. That, eh? Easy. I'm confident we're going to get a pull with that bait. It's in the zone. It's a nice big bait, even if the peckers start eating it. I'll put that bonny head and I'll put cutlets around it and I'll put some sand around it also. So I think the, if they're small stuff, they'll peck on the, on the, on the soft cutlets around it. And uh, that should attract the big sharks also, you know, those pecking sounds in the water. So yeah, let's wait and see. 